All right, in player one, we have Sneaky Dragon playing Wolfar. And on player two side, we have Edient playing Vesper. Oh, hang on, I entered game two. Whoa, ignore me. What do you feel about Wolfar as a pick on this map? Uh, um, definitely Wolfar, very interesting. Well, yeah. Basically like the same as on every map really, except I guess he has a little bit more things to do. Uh, since you can pressure the HQ early, it's not really that big of a deal because you don't really have that many units around usually. Um, I think Wolfar is interesting for the tactical flexibility that uh, he gives you uh, because his groove can be used in many different ways. Like on this map, there's actually flex zone. So if you can groove an air unit into the flex zone, it will just die. Um, so that's single target damage there. It can also be used as area damage because uh, Wolfar's groove will splash damage everything in the landing spot, around the landing spot rather. And uh, finally, there's some interesting thief shenanigans you can do by um, like maybe stealing from the HQ and then grooving, your, grooving the thief and then the thief dies and you immediately get the gold. I wonder if we're going to see any of that in this game. I feel like Sneaky's lining that up like right now. Oh, he goes for it. Oh, he does go for the... Yeah, this is really good here because there's no way to kill the thief. And if you attack the thief, then Wolfar will just groove it. The thief will die. And yeah. And <laughs> oh man. And he's going to get a thousand gold just like that. Yeah. Oh, that, that's got to feel so bad. For he that could to even groove the thief back to the to the high dive to get the gold line, faster. Or I guess now that it's been damaged. No, he's going to use it offensively. No, it would die always on landing so yeah so sneaky just cheese his opponent for uh 2000 gold differential there um and he did get a dragon so yeah and he also damaged his opponent's units while doing it so i guess to explain for people that aren't familiar thieves return gold when they're killed but it's dependent on who kills them so wolfar is like one of the few options in the game where you can kill your own thief and it allows you to like get a ridiculous amount of gold. Yep. Surely oh, enough, I... started sneaky. Continues with the dragon. <laughs> um, I mean, at this point, sneaky is just closing out his advantage here. He's really far ahead, and he's making plays which will put him even more ahead. So, it's a classic how to extend your lead. And you're ahead, get more ahead, basically. Vesper has groove, though. Although, not true, that many like, use it to, units to use it with. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. One of Vesper's problems is that if you're too far behind by the time you get groove, there's not that much you can do with it. True, because Vesper, Vesper's groove is like, is best used offensively, um, as opposed to some other grooves, which have defensive value so if you don't have the army to leverage it it's not really going to do much sneaky just continuing to steal over and over this is like he's had three thieves this game and at this point all of them have stolen at least once actually he's setting up to do the same thing again because if um because he's gonna get to damage the thief if like Pedian tries to attack it. And then soon Wolfar will have move a second time. Okay, but he's not going for it. <laughs> Maybe just uh, toying with the idea, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, definitely a very powerful idea as Wolfar. So, Vesper did use Groove in this position. Um, it didn't do a whole lot, but I do feel that uh, maybe you didn't have a choice. Like you just had to get some value off of it before you get totally overrun by this superior army that Sneaky is building. Yeah, I think you really need to make a move right now. 
you you need to divert sneaky away from your HQ and like one of the ways to do that is to like have a strong push uh, towards his own HQ which is it's what true. sneaky opted I mean uh, Pigeon opted for actually Pigeon has managed to restore um gold quality on this turn uh income equality rather I absolutely love the just... Like on turn twelve, Sneaky has set up another HQ steal with a Wolfar Groove coming up at just the right time. <laughs> it's true, but like it doesn't work with the full health thief um, because you can't kill it with the groove. It has to be pre-damaged in order to work. So if your opponent knows about the trick, then they will actually counterplay it by not going for the steal. But anyway, I I think um, Vesper is probably just dead here. Uh, there's no way there isn't lethal in this game state. Oh yeah, there's a lot of like, unit suicides and. And other Wolfar, one of his uh, good points is that uh, he's pretty good at setting up lethals, even if he can't hit himself. But not really going uh, for lethal, just, just killing the entire army instead. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no need to go for. Oh, well, I think he actually just does have Lethal here, though. Right, yeah. Yep, that's GG. Gets the Lethal with the Dragon. A true sneaky Dragon play. Oh, yeah, you're definitely right there. And that is... So Sneaky's been messaging me a bunch this week and saying, this map's really hard. Like, you have to do so much work to, like, know all the openings and all that stuff. But that was a really cool play and something that I guess you would only know about if you put a lot of time into. Yep. Uh, I very much suspect Wolfire is going to be banned in the next match. I mean, after you got hu humil humiliated by that opening, uh, you might want to try it out yourself. But Sneaky might ban Wolfire. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Sneaky might have the strat prepared to counter it i guess that's also true i'm not really sure how because like the, obviously like attacking the sword means that you, wolfar can kill it but if you leave the sword alone then you mean the thief right yes if you leave the thief alone if you hit it with a sword that's what i'm thinking of then right. okay what do you do so... in that situation like the thief can just walk away and then like i mean it's potentially better th i i don't know it's uh because you at least delay their 1000 gold um a few turns as opposed to them getting it immediately and doing some splash damage in the meantime i guess like so, you could have a witch so that you could hex it and hit it with a sword it's not very cost effective but it means yeah that... i don't think you'd have the money to hex after the heist though oh not yeah that early in the game that is, that's that also is very true. true. Yeah. I guess really the true. play would be to prepare a balloon and then balloon your CO next to your HQ so that your sword can crit the thief. Or you can just uh, set up two attacks into the sword because like Wolfar can only really block from one side and then the HQ blocks from another side but um, that leaves two spaces where you can hit the thief. At least in what he saw in that opening. Well, well played to Sneaky, taking game Yeah, one. definitely nicely executed strategy. Uh, he was really ahead after the opening.